During the late 80s, early 90s in the US and Europe, there was an angry, fabulous emergence or emergency of queer visibility, activism, activism, art, and cultural production. Performance art, AIDS activism, ACT UP, the Lesbian Avengers, Queer Nation, bisexual and trans people were remaking the LGBT queer political landscape, new networks for feminist and queer art and performance, the first queer performance festivals, and this text by Zoe Leonard comes out of that moment and helps to create that environment. So, I talked a little bit about it today in talking about the loss from AIDS, but at the same time how that period, especially this, um, in the latter part of the most intense decade of, of AIDS among the gay people of Europe and the US, um, there was a, just a very intense kind of queer resistance that happened. That's when we, we get the word queer from this time. Um, it had been around for a long time, but that's when it really gets grabbed onto as a different kind of identity, a different kind of strategy. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think we should just read it. We'll do a day, I think that we'll have to do a day during the week that we do manifestos and political statements, and we look from Isadora to punk rock to Zoe Leonard to Adrian Piper and other kinds of pieces, but I thought we'd just read it as a sort of choral piece. Go. I want to type for president. I want a person with AIDS for president. Yell it a little louder. I want the president who wants to have his last lover to AIDS, who still sees that in their eyes every time they lay down to rest, who held their lover in their arms and knew they were dying. I want the president with no air conditioning, a president who has stood on the line at the clinic, at the DMV, at the welfare office, and has been unemployed and laid off. Louder. I want someone who has spent the night in tombs and had a cross burn on their lawn and is not that great. I want someone who has been in love and been in birth, who respects sex, who has made mistakes and learned from them. I want a black woman for president. I want someone with bad teeth and an attitude. Someone who has eaten bad, nasty hospital food. Really loud. I want someone who has made civil disobedience. And I want to know why this is impossible. I want to know why we started learning somewhere down the line that the president is always a clown, always a John and never a voter, always a boss and never a worker, always a liar, always a thief. And 